What's up guys? It's me, Lucy, and Penna, and Aiden. He's right there. And today, our mom is going to be showing you guys how to sew the Paul's Bug joggers. Man, I can't show If you guys would like to purchase this pattern, you can go to our website. It's called raincitypatterncompany.com. So, let's get sewing. No, I'm supposed to do it. I'm going to do the yoga waistband. So I have two fronts and two backs. Those are mirrored and they're cut at the low rise line. And I have one yoga waistband and I have two angle cuffs. So in this option, there's not going to be any pockets and no drawstring. The drawstring isn't an option if you're not doing the elastic waistband. So we'll start by sewing the fronts and the backs together. This is my yoga waistband option. So I have already put together one front and one back, right sides together. And I'm just gonna repeat it on this other piece. And now using a stretch stitch or a um, serge, I'll start from the bottom. And so all the way to the top, and then I'll repeat on the other leg starting at the bottom and sewing all the way to the top. Okay, so next we're gonna do the inseam and we're just going, this one's already done, not sewn, but lined up. You're just gonna take it and move this over and line up these raw edges here and you'll start sewing again from the bottom and up towards, towards the crotch um, when you get here, you're going to ease this front piece into the back piece. It's going to be a little bit shorter, so just about two or three inches away, just ease it in. You're going to use a stretch stitch or a serge. With our out seam and our in seam sewn, we're just going to do our ankle cuffs real quick. So here is my cuff, and I fold it in in half, and then I'm just going to fold it one more time up like this and I'll clip it in place. And I'm gonna sew right here. Uh, you can use a stretch stitch or a straight stitch for this, it doesn't matter. And then repeat it on the other cuff. So fold it up and we're sewing this raw edge right here. Okay, so our ankle cuffs are sewn right there. We're just gonna turn them right side out like this. And we're going to sew them onto our pants. So um, these are rib knit, they're super stretchy. If you find that your fabric that you're using for your ankle cuff doesn't stretch enough, you're gonna wanna gather this bottom part right here so that it fits in there. So we just take where our seam is here and we're gonna line it up with the inseam of the pant. So just put that in there. And clip it in place. And then we can clip this one in place. And then when you sew it, you're just gonna stretch that band to fit, just like that. And then we'll repeat with the other one. So there's our seam, and we're going to put it inside, lining up those seams, and then we're going to line this up over here, and then we're going to take it to the machine and we'll stretch the ankle cuff as we sew using a stretch stitch or a serge. Okay. With the ankle cuff sewn on, we're gonna sew this crotch curve here. So have one of your legs right side out and one inside out. And we're just going to take the pieces and put them right sides together. So we're gonna take this one and we're gonna put it inside here. And that's gonna make it right side together. So, 
just like that. And we're just going to line up the crotch curve. The front. And the back. And we're going to sew from here down and then up and around. And we're going to use either a serge or a stretch stitch. So here's a close-up of the curve sewn, just like that. This is the back, this is the front. And if you turn it right side out, it's gonna look like that. Next, we're going to do the yoga waistband. So we have our yoga waistband. It's already folded. So unfold it, it looks like this. You just fold it once. So those short ends line up and then you're gonna fold it again. Just like we did with the ankle cuffs. Now we're gonna run a serge or a straight stitch or a stretch stitch down this one end right here. Okay, so we have that uh, short end sewn. We're just gonna turn it right side out like this. You can press it if you would like. I'm not going to do that. Next we're going to sew the waistband on. So what you want to do is after you get this turned right side out is to lay it so that the seam that you just made is on one side and then mark 180 degrees out which would be right here. And this is where it's going to line up with the front of the pant. So the front is the low side, the back is the high side. And with your pant right side out, you're going to lay the waistband over it, right sides together, and just clip it at that seam. So my 180 degree mark is lined up with my front seam. And then this seam here will line up with the back seam. So the pant goes inside. And then I like to make it so that one seam presses this way and the other seam presses that way for a less bulky seam. You just clip it in place. And now when we sew using a stretch stitch or a serge, we'll just stretch it evenly between this point all the way around to this point and then stretch it evenly again between these two points. Okay, so that is the last step. We just fold this up and bam, there's our yoga waistband. And so when your kid's wearing it, you can fold it down or you can leave it high, whatever you like.